Ossicats are the result of Virginia Daly's experimental breeding efforts in 1964. The crossing of Abyssinian and Siamese cats led to the Ossicat, which has a wild look yet is fully domestic. The Ossicat is known for its spotted fur, large ears, and athletic appearance. If you have an Ossicat, then you will need to provide your cat with healthy foods, grooming, entertainment, comfort, and veterinary care. How to care for Ossicats. This video will tell you. Feeding your Ossicat. Grooming your Ossicat. Entertaining your Ossicat. And providing comfort and veterinary care. Welcome to DailyNeedsStudio.com. Special considerations for Ossicats. 1. For a busy household with children and other pets, the Ossicat makes a great pet due to their outgoing personality and adaptable nature. They are highly intelligent and can be taught to learn household rules and tricks. 2. The Ossicat personality is playful and energetic, making them good with families that are sociable and active. While not very noisy or overly clingy, the Ossicat can make themselves vocal when interacting with others or playing games. They are the ideal companion for households where someone is around most of the time. 3. The Ossicat can be allergic to pollen, mold, or dust and may show signs in the form of itchy skin. Most commonly, the skin of their legs, stomach, face, and ears may become itchy. Symptoms may include excessive grooming of specific areas, rubbing of their faces, and frequent ear infections. Many treatment options are available to help ease your cat's condition. 1. Feeding your Ossicat Number 1. Select a high-quality cat food. To keep your Ossicat in excellent physical condition, you will need to feed her a diet of high-quality cat food. One good way to choose a cat food is to read the ingredients. If the first two ingredients listed are meat, not meat byproducts, then the food is probably high quality. If not, then keep looking. Make sure that the food contains taurine. Taurine is an essential amino acid that all cats need for good vision and heart health. Most cat foods will contain this ingredient, but if you find one that does not, then do not buy that food. Number 2. Feed your Ossicat two measured food portions per day. Some people free feed their cats, which is when the cat has access to unlimited dry food all of the time. This method of feeding can cause some cats to become overweight or even obese, so it is not ideal. Instead, maintain a regular feeding schedule for your cat and follow the guidelines on your cat's food package to determine how much food to give your cat. Take the recommended daily feeding amount listed on your cat's food package and divide it in half. For example, if your cat weighs between 5 and 9 pounds, then the cat food package may suggest a maximum daily amount of two-thirds of a cup of food per day. To divide this into two portions, give your cat one-third of a cup in the morning and one-third of a cup in the evening. Cats prefer small meals, so your Ossicat is more likely to finish her food if you give it to her in two portions. Ask your Ossicat's veterinarian if you are unsure about how much to feed your cat. Number 3. Give your Ossicat plenty of fresh, clean water. Your Ossicat will need to have access to a bowl of fresh, clean water at all times. Make sure that you have a special stainless steel or ceramic bowl for your Ossicat's water. Wash the bowl daily and change out the water at least once per day. Number 4. Give your Ossicat treats. Ossicats like treats as much as any cat, so try to give your Ossicat a special treat now and then. You can buy treats in the store or try giving your cat some acceptable human foods for a treat. Just make sure that treats do not exceed 5% of your cat's daily calories. Some good treat options include. Canned tuna. 
lean deli meat, cooked chicken or turkey, cheese, cooked eggs, cantaloupe chunks, steamed broccoli, mashed potatoes. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 2. Grooming your Aussie cat. Number 1. Brush your Aussie cat's fur once per week. Aussie cats have short fur that does not require much attention. To maintain your Aussie cat's fur, brush him with a rubber hand brush or a natural bristle brush about once per week. Some people have even suggested using a chamois to groom your Aussie cat. To brush your Aussie cat, start by brushing his back, then move to his sides tummy, and chest. You can give his tail a little attention to, but be gentle. Keep in mind that if your ossicat is shedding, then you may need to brush him more often. Number 2. Trim your ossicat's claws. Your ossicat needs his claws for mobility, but sometimes cat claws can become extra sharp and this may be a hazard for you. Try to trim your Aussie cat's claws once every few weeks to prevent painful encounters with your cat's claws. Trim the white tips only. Do not trim the pink area of your Aussie cat's claws or you may hurt him. Use a special guillotine style nail trimmer. Number 3. Clean your Aussie cat's teeth. Daily dental care is a great way to keep your Aussie cat's teeth in good condition. To brush your Aussie cat's teeth, you will need to get a special cat toothbrush and cat toothpaste because human toothpaste can make him sick. You may have to introduce your Aussie cat to the toothbrush slowly. For example, you may start by allowing him to lick a bit of wet cat food off of the toothbrush for a few days. When you brush your cat's teeth, use gentle strokes on his teeth and gums. Brushing too hard may injure him. Number 4. Bathe your ossicat if necessary. Since ossicats have short fur and they can keep themselves clean, you may never need to bathe your ossicat. However, if your ossicat becomes dirty or starts to smell bad, then you will need to give him a bath. Poor self-grooming is often a sign of illness in cats. Take your ossicat to see a veterinarian if you notice that she stops grooming herself. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 3. Entertaining your Aussicat. Number 1. Pet your Aussicat. Aussicats are more independent than some breeds, but they still love attention and affection from their humans. Make sure that you take time to pet your Aussicat every day and give him the attention he needs. If you are often away from home during the day or night, then you may want to get a companion for your Aussicat. They need to be around people or other animals to be happy. Number 2. Give your Aussicat a puzzle toy. Aussicats have high intelligence, so they respond well to challenging toys. Try giving your Aussicat a puzzle toy that will challenge his problem-solving skills and that will provide him with a treat when he solves the puzzle. Number 3. Play fetch with your Aussicat. Unlike some cat breeds that do not understand how to fetch, many Aussicats like to play fetch. Try tossing a mouse toy or small ball to see if your Aussicat will bring it back to you. Your Aussicat will enjoy other interactive toys as well. Try one toys to encourage your Aussicat to jump high in the air or laser pointers to allow your Aussicat to sprint back and forth while you move the laser around. Number 4. Take your Aussicat for a walk. Aussicats are often described as dog-like in some of their behaviors and some Aussicats are even fond of taking walks. Get a cat harness and leash for your Aussicat and try taking him for a walk around your neighborhood. Make sure that your Aussicat's harness fits well and that his leash is securely attached. 
Your Ossicat may try to climb a tree or run off if he gets out of his harness or off of his leash. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 4. Providing comfort and veterinary care. Number 1. Give your Ossicat a soft bed. Your Ossicat will appreciate a soft, comfortable bed to sleep in every night. Get a special bed for your Ossicat and place it somewhere that you have noticed him sleeping. Many Ossicats like to be up on high perches, so placing the bed on a sturdy shelf or dresser may encourage him to use his bed even more. Number 2. Put up scratching posts for your Ossicat. Ossicats need to scratch, so make sure that you provide your Ossicat with plenty of scratching posts so that he can indulge this habit. Try placing a couple of corrugated cardboard scratching boards and rope wrapped boards throughout your house. If you ever catch your Ossicat scratching something that he should not, do not yell at him or throw things at him. Just pick him up gently and place him next to one of his scratching boards. After a while, he will understand that he is only supposed to use his scratching board when he needs to scratch. Try rubbing a bit of catnip on your Ossicat scratching boards to make them more attractive. Number 3. Provide enough litter boxes for your Ossicat. Your Ossicat will need to have access to clean litter boxes at all times for his bathroom needs. Keep his litter boxes clean by scooping them out daily and changing the litter at least once per week. To get your Ossicat to use his litter box, you should also provide enough litter boxes. You should have at least one more litter box than the total number of cats in your house. For example, if you have three cats, then you need to have at least four litter boxes. Use a fine-grained litter. Cats prefer fine-grained litter in their boxes. Use a clumping kind to make it easier for you to clean and fill the box so that there is about 2 inches of litter in the box. Place litter boxes away from food and water. Cats do not like to go to the bathroom near their food and water dishes. Placing litter boxes in these areas may cause your cat to avoid using the box or lead to poor eating and drinking habits. Number 4. Take your Ossicat to see a veterinarian. Ossicats need regular veterinary care to stay healthy. Make sure that you take your Ossicat to see a veterinarian soon after you get him and take him for regular checkups once per year. During these visits, your cat's veterinarian will examine your cat, run tests, such as a feline leukemia test, and give your cat vaccinations, such as a rabies vaccination. Make sure to make annual appointments for your Ossicat and take him to see the veterinarian any time you suspect that he is not feeling well. Number 5. Spay or neuter your Ossicat. Spaying and neutering is an excellent way to control the pet population and protect your pet from certain health and behavioral issues. Talk to your cat's veterinarian about spaying or neutering your cat as soon as possible to prevent bad behaviors, such as spraying, aggression, and roaming, from becoming ingrained in your cat. Keep in mind that spaying and neutering may protect your Ossicat from some health issues as well, such as uterine infections, enlarged prostate, and certain forms of cancer. Warnings Avoid giving certain human foods to your Ossicat. Feeding your Ossicat table scraps may make him overweight and may even make him sick. Some human foods can even kill your cat. Never give your Ossicat onions, caffeine, garlic, alcohol, avocado, chocolate, grapes, raisins, citrus, dairy products, nuts, coconut, raw eggs, xylitol, raw meat, bones, salty foods, or yeast. 